Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to take an image saved from the internet and make it into a cuttable file that you can use in Design Space. I'm using an outside program called Inkscape. It is a free download. I'll put the link to it below in the description box. Uh, but here's the website, uh, inkscape.org. And when you click on download, it takes you to this screen and then you can download whether you have a Mac or just a regular a Windows PC. So I already have it downloaded. And here's what it looks like. There's so much you can do. I am by no means an expert in Inkscape, but I can do a, f a few little things. But the main thing I use it for is making my internet images a cut file. So I've already saved an image from the internet and I'm going to file and open. And it is a cute little puppy I found. We're gonna open him up. I don't change anything here. Actually, I think I've never paid attention. I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't do that anymore. I'm going to hit OK. And Inkscape, for some reason, opens another window. I have no idea why it does that. But I'm going to click on my puppy, get him selected. And I'm going to... Okay, obviously my computer would act a fool while I'm trying to record a tutorial, uh, but I'm back with my little puppy. I have him uh, opened, and note to self, do not turn off that little box that pops up when you try to open an image. Alright, he. I have him, I clicked on him, he is selected, and I'm going to Path, Trace to Bitmap, and this little box here pops up. Since he is not just black and white, you want to change him, uh, change it to colors. Unclick smooth and you want to remove your background. Okay, and then you want to count how many colors you have in your image. So there's black, gray, light brown, dark brown, black, did I say black? We're going to go with five. And then you can always, you can adjust this if you don't get the number just right. And then you click on update. Okay, and that looks pretty good. It looks like all my colors are there, so I'm going to click OK and get rid of this box and the image that converts comes over on top of your original image that you loaded so I'm going to move this one out of the way because we want to keep him and this is the one we want to get rid of So I click on him to select him and then I'm going to right click and delete. And There are shortcuts on the keyboard. I don't use those, um, but there's other videos that tell you what all the shortcuts are. So I have my little puppy. He is ready to go and you want to save as and then whatever you want to call your image and then change this to plain SVG and save it. Now we're going into Design Space. I have a canvas open. Upload your image. And this is what your SVG files are, in my experience, all mine look like this, the internet um, cut files. And then here's where you can give him a name and then make any tags you want to make. And save. And insert him. And 
there he is. So you can see over here all of his little layers and if you ungroup them then you'll see what you have. And if there's a layer that you you don't want, like if you didn't want the gray layer, you could hide it or delete it. And then he would be really cute on a white t-shirt. So that is how you use an outside program, Inkscape, to turn your internet images into cut files. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below and have a great day.